So, hey guys, how's everyone doing today? So, today I want to show you how to get into the diagnostic menus on pretty much any of the Acura vehicles that have the, the touchpad here. I have this. It's pretty basic how to do it. If you remember, I did it on the Accord. You had to push a couple buttons. Well, this you can do with one hand. So let me sh um, share how to do it. So you're gonna put your car on. Okay, so the engine's not on, it doesn't have to be. Okay, so you're at this screen, sorry for the glare here. Um, so all you basically do, if you come down here, see these three buttons? You got the return button here, you got the home button, and then you got this, the card button here where you can pick the different cards. You're gonna hold all three of them together. So right here, just push down at the same time and hold it. Now you'll watch the screen. Okay, then you can let go. So here's what comes up. Then just like the touch, the, Use a touchpad, and now watch on the screen. Okay, so you have self-diagnosis mode, or detail information and setting. Now, what's pretty neat about this, I'll go to the first one, and you click it. Okay, it comes up. Shows you all this information here. And then see where it says press any icon if you want to see details about it. So if you go to Apple right here, it tells you the version. You can either push return here or you can push return on this menu to go back. Touchpad. Part number. Some basic information. Things that don't really make a lot of sense to us because this is for... Um, a lot of the text we'll use if you have an issue. They'll make sure this is all working. The AM, FM, all this stuff. Right here, it says HD on. You can turn that on and off. Band change. Tells you all the information about it. Uh, meter. Again, a lot of this is gibberish to us, but it is used for the, the text, so I wouldn't mess around with this. Um, but what is interesting you go to the detail information and settings screen I like this because this has some basic information like temperature okay it'll tell you right here high temperature with a current date it'll tell you anything that stands out you can kind of look at it right here okay so it, this must be the default is Celsius but see right here, turn to Fahrenheit. So we'll do that. So high temperature, 147 degrees. Low temperature, 32. Average, 44. Just interesting to know. See how your engine's running? I mean, so the 147, and you know I don't drive a lot. So if a lot of you guys are commuting, that's going to be a lot more. Just kind of some good information. Monitor check. All that kind of stuff I wouldn't mess with. Car status. Same thing, I wouldn't mess with any of this. Um, but the one thing on here that's good to look at is an audio check. So what this will do, push it, speaker check. So not started, next. So then, can you hear that? Front left, then you go next. Right, surround. And it'll just play this tone through each speaker. So if you guys are wondering, did I blow a speaker? Um, is it not working right? Well, this will run through each speaker. So you'll know for sure. So if one of these sounds off, just by listening to it, you'll know. Subwoofer, you can hear the rumble. So that's a good one to kind of, you don't have to tear your door panels apart to pull a speaker out. I like that one. And then same thing here. This is a big one you guys were talking about. So ANC diagnostic function. 
it's on. If you click that, you can turn it off. The ANC, active noise cancellation. So a lot of you guys said it's better if you turn it off. Now I've done this before and turned it off, but then when you turn the engine back on, it goes to default again and it leaves it on. So it might be the only way to do this is to disconnect the module, um, I believe is um, in the glove box. So um, let me know if that's the case, but I know doing it through this menu, it does always default back on. So again, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Some pretty neat things. You can look in here. I wouldn't mess with this stuff though, um, other than like checking your speakers, um, just for some common information, because this is what the techs use. If you have a issue with the car, they go through and it checks all this stuff and they have parameters that it needs to be set out. So I just thought it was neat. If you guys didn't know how to get into it, now you do. Pretty basic, like I said, I think every vehicle with this kind of infotainment system has a way to get into it. It's just knowing what keys to push um, or what um, buttons to push. Again, so hopefully that'll help you guys out, give you guys some insight on this car. I um, hope everyone's doing good, having a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again, everybody.